The background material for the exponential distribution is now complete. There's a closed form cumulative distribution function. There is a closed form moment generating function. And the moments of the exponential distribution are mathematically tractable. A series of examples illustrating the exponential distribution begin now. So here's the first one. Arrival times to a busy yogurt shop during their peak arrival period are well modeled by a Poisson process with rate of 30 customers per hour. I'll underline the word hour there. Find the median time between arrivals and find the probability that the time between arrivals of the two between two customers is between two and four minutes. So once again, we have the same problem that crops up occasionally with Poisson processes, and that is sometimes units are given in one um, particular um, designation here and another down here. Let's go ahead and choose minutes. We will work in minutes as we go. And furthermore, let's go ahead and, and define this median that we're looking in for in part A to be M. So once again, we're going to choose a time scale and that time scale will be minutes rather than hours and when you do choose minutes then your arrival rate lambda instead of being 30 customers per hour will be 30 sixtieths of a customer or one half customer per minute when you use minutes as a time scale. Now when you do so, our time between customer arrivals, and that is the random variable x, define that up here. This is time between arrivals. f of x will have the exponential distribution and lambda will be one half, so it'll be one half e to the minus x over two on the support x greater than zero. To solve part a, and that is find the median time between arrivals, what we want to do is we want to set the cumulative distribution evaluated at m equal to one half and solve for m. The cumulative distribution function evaluated at m, you can go back to the CDF slide and you'll recognize that that is 1 minus e to the minus m over 2 and that gets set equal to 1 half and to solve this for m you have to subtract 1 from both sides and then negate and then take the natural logarithm and then multiply by negative 2 and when you do all of that the median will be negative 2 times the natural log of 1 half. And negative 2 times the natural log of 1 half turns out to be approximately 1.3863 pen problems minutes. There, that's better. Now for part B, we want to calculate the probability that the time between arrivals of two customers is between two and four minutes. That can be written as the probability that the random variable x lies between two and four. In this particular case, we want to integrate the probability density function, which is 1 half e to the minus x over 2 dx between 2 and 4. The integral of this particular probability density function will be minus e to the minus x over 2 evaluated from 2 to 4. When you plug in 4, you get minus e 
to the minus 2. When you plug in 2, you get plus e to the minus 1. And when you work out that probability, at least to four digits, it's 0.2325. Now, on the next slide, you'll be able to see the geometry be behind the solutions to part A and B. So first of all, if you look at part B, here is the shaded area between 2 and 4. And the integral that we just worked showed that this was about 0.2325 as the area underneath the curve. If you look at part A, where we got 1.3, write it here, 1.3863, that is the population median, and that is the value such that there will be an area of one half to the left of that value underneath the probability density function, and an area of one half to the right of 1.3863 underneath the probability density function. So there's the median, which is part A. And again, the shaded area here is part B.